recent testimony before the House committee investigating the January 6th insurrection has drawn comparisons to another infamous figure, John Gotti. Is there a tangible resemblance between Trump's defense strategy and that of the notorious mob boss? Let's dive into this legal parallel. Lithwick, both Gotti and Trump have followed a similar playbook. They cultivated an image of being tough and untouchable, projecting an air of invincibility when faced with criminal charges. Lithwick, Trump's legal team, much like Gotti's, employed a staunch defense. They aimed to discredit witnesses, sow doubt, and assert that any wrongdoing was simply the result of others' misconduct. Lithwick, in fact, both men earned monikers that highlight their perceived invulnerability. Gotti as the Teflon Don and Trump as the Teflon president. Who couldn't afford it? Lithwick, Gotti famously declared, I never took nothing from nobody who couldn't afford it, suggesting that his alleged criminal activities only targeted those who could bear the financial burden. Lithwick, similarly, Trump denies any accountability for the Capitol riot, asserting that he bears no responsibility for the actions of his supporters. Lithwick, while Gotti ultimately faced conviction, Trump's impeachment trials resulted in acquittal. This divergent outcome reminds us of the disparities in the American legal system. Lithwick, so, is Trump's testimony reflective of Gotti's criminal defense strategy? The similarities are striking, but the legal consequences differ. Only time will tell if history will consider Trump as the Teflon president or if accountability will finally catch up with him. Oh, 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 oh,